M0FXB. Let's search the HF bands using our Hack RF Porter Pack. And you can use the new one, the H4. This is the H2. Where you, we've got the latest Mayhem firmware, so I recommend you add all that. So how do we get to this where well, we can actually hear the audio and scan through at the same time? You'll see that I can scan through there. Look at the frequency there. And I can scan through. I mean, it's not the busiest at the moment. Just listen into that French station. But we are on lower sidebands. So how do we select this? First thing is let's go back to the beginning. So we'll follow our little white box here. Let's go up to the top and select. We'll go back to the, the beginning screen up to the very top. And we'll just tap back. Look. So the first thing, receiver. Then go next down here, next, until you see POXAG on the top left. There's POXAG. And at the bottom here, you've got scanner. Okay, go into scanner, because I, I just find this is the easiest way to do it. Of course, you can type in any frequency you like, but this is about HF, lower sideband, upper sideband. So at the moment, it was scanning all that and a few other functions, but one of them you can select here, audio. So we're just going to tap it, and we go into this window. Then we're going to move with our up and down to the frequency. Now make sure it's white when you do it. Fine, it has to be white. Then select, and we're just going to type it in. So we want 7.168. Remember the dot, and then done. So we're on the right frequency now. Now we need the right mode, which is to the left. We're on narrow FM at the moment. Click to the left so it highlights, and turn the black knob here until you see AM. There are other selections that say FM, AM, AM, FM, but you definitely want AM. Okay, if it freezes, just keep going. So just turn AM. Now, I don't care what anyone says, I've been Googling this, chat GBT, and they say it's not designed for the HF bands, but I've been comparing this to my Icom 7300. It, it feels like it actually works better. Uh, but anyway, up and down here, go down to where it says step, select, and just scroll until it says one kilohertz. That's all you need, really. There is fine tune, look, 0 0.1, but one kilohertz. Now move it up to the frequency, and now just tune. And when the bands are busy, And I've noticed that you can, if you move to the right here, you've got the word for, uh, sorry, the number 40. You can tweak this. And then we'll go over to the right again. You can tweak this. There's recommended settings. See if I can find that station again. French station. And the volume, move to the, the top here. Now, speaker-wise... You could put an internal speaker, why not? But I find that they're not very loud. I just get myself one of these, and I'll put the link in the description. A little Bluetooth sender, seven pound. Put it on number TX, on TX. The switch, like so. Plug it into the usual jack. Pair it with any budget Bluetooth speaker, and this is a real cheap one. Uh, about eight pound that thing was and just enjoy and then when you want to change bands go up you're moving your little square around select type in let's say I don't know what the 14 megahertz band is like now you will need to change because you're on AM go back to AM change that to upper side band you could do CW if you're into that and then move it back up and just tune. And it's as good as the band conditions. Now I'm, I've connected a 49 to one unun or balun, if you want to call it that, to my antenna connector, the SMA one here, and then a very long wire, 66 foot of wire. And I'll tell you now, when the, when the conditions are good, this will come to life. And we don't have to just use this band. I can, let me see if I can see anything on two meters. Now I have got my um, H4 on the way, but to me it's not, I know they've made some differences, a different knob, USB-C, they've got the peripheral connector, the GPI connector on the side, but to me overall it's pretty much doing the same 
think, thanks for the enhancements. Um, but I don't think they're a massive change to how good the, the SDR board, the Hack RF1, has always been. And of course, this nice front thing where we can go portable, that's what's effectively happening. You're getting an SDR board, which you would normally connect to your computer and use software to, to view. Well, they've created this lovely screen and you can do it just holding it. And that's what we're paying for. And they're not expensive. Oh, flat battery. Okay, we can't show any more. Let's charge it up. And thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.